Hey guys, Daniel James here, um, and today I have a new cello. Um, I'm also working on a new uh, movie and a video game. I'm working on things, you know. But anyway, I bought a new cello today, and um, I've been thinking of new ways to play it. And so I saw these. I was gonna. Um, so we got the cello here. It's in tune-ish, uh, and I was playing these, you know, like the, you, you know, your usual kind of extended articulation so, so I'd probably play like that you know and as such but I thought what if I was to rosin the stick now you get all these uh, you get all these sample library companies that do strings and they have the extended uh, articulations usually with some Latin name that nobody knows. El Mono Traco, or whatever you call it. Uh, fungus Rungus. But this one, this one is the uh, DJ Sticko te technique. So what you do is you rosin the stick, and then... There you have the DJ Sticko <laughs> articulation. Um, so all you need is a uh, what is it? It's a drum. It's not a drum brush. It's a drum stick, but like sticks. And then you know you rosin it up as much as you can until until it's you know until there's friction on your finger. And then with a bit of bit of pressure on the string, you can then. If you ever want to do some rhythmic thing, you know, you get a, you get the ch at the stick. <laughs> Gonna have to learn to play cello first, I imagine. But for the purpose of uh, sampling this for this movie I'm doing, I'm gonna be getting some uh, some cool sound effects. But anyway, I thought I'd uh, share that technique with you guys because that's kind of um, it's interesting. And I know that these days it's more about, uh, you know, it's, it's about experimentation. Um, because every everything that you think has been done with a cello, you know, you think has been done. But um, take a look around your house, see what you've got, see what you're hitting it with, see what you're bowing it with. You could do the same things with guitars. Uh, but the plan is now is to record either some textures, you know, some, uh, some long evolving textures using this stick using the DJ Sticko technique. I don't know why I'm saying Sticko. The DJ Stick technique I think is fine. But if you want to make it some, you know, full on Italian name. But anyway, so the, uh, I'm gonna sample some of these. I'm gonna then maybe do a bit more sound design, but I'm gonna make sure to record, or at least export some of these uh, raw so that, um, you know, I can mess with them down the line in the future. But for the film that I'm doing, not only does this, uh, this kind of, Things that don't belong is kind of the, 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 the thing I'm feeling from this film that I wanted. You know, it was the clue I gave myself in order to find instruments and sounds. It's things that don't belong. And so bowing a cello with a stick doesn't belong. It's wrong. But it's so aggressive and it's still... I mean, it's, it's, it's a concept if you want to get all you know, wanky about it. There's a, there's a concept to it, you know, that even though it doesn't belong, it's still still delivering uh, and I, I feel like for the film that we're doing that kind of makes sense so it's uh you know it, it kind of works both conceptually and I'm not sure how well that comes through on the video but that is a nicely aggressive uh, tone which also fits for the film so we're gonna be giving that a go um, I'll make sure to uh, include some of the sound design footage of it so you guys can check out check out what we did with that we I or what any of us did <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna I'm gonna record some of that now and we'll see how well it translates we're gonna record on the NTG3 um, a lot of the time you would record with a, uh, a room mic you know like have some condenser microphone or something like that 
But I'm doing sound design, so what I actually want to do is this is a shotgun microphone. So I'm going to record this pretty close, actually. I'm, I think I'm going to point it more towards the um, the actual string than the the body because I want this. You know, I just want the kind of a great. I want the wood on string feel. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, if I have it clean, I can add reverb later if I want to make it feel more organic cello-ish. But I feel like it's going to uh, it's going to produce enough sound. And you know, I, like I say, I don't play cello, and there's no real. Uh, known way I think to play the cello with this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sample like either single note stuff or stuff that you know alternates where's my rosin ah, and you need to re-rosin it a lot um, but I'm going to record those uh, so that they're easier with sound design load them into contact so that you can actually uh, use it as a pitched instrument but I think it's I think it's gonna go pretty well um, and if it turns out well if it turns out good who knows project K who knows? In the meantime, Let's see how we get on.